If the mother dies, the warmth will disappear, the breast milk will disappear, and the love will disappear. And that means that we have 95% of all infants who are born alive. If the mother dies, 95% of them will never uh, see their fifth birthday. The predominant cause of death in the world is hemorrhage, that women bleed to death after having given birth. 10 to 20% of all women in the world run that risk. High blood pressure during pregnancy and birth, leading to what we call preeclampsia, and then finally convulsions, unconsciousness, and death. Also, there are, of course, infections, the third thing, and HIV is uh, increasing that risk very much. There are district hospitals, even regional hospitals, with one single medical doctor in two or three million people. This project has two cornerstones. One thing, the most important thing, is the decentralizing of healthcare closer to women's needs. I don't know of any other country in Africa where we have this systematic combination of decentralizing life-saving skills to beyond district hospitals, much closer to these people and also to train these non-physicians to perform these life-saving skills at that very spot. And this project is very unique, first in Tanzania. Since we started two years, the mobility has gone down. And it has been the first project to see people uh, doing the surgery at the level of the village without any consultant, without any university knowledge. To this part of the world, to this third world, to our district, it has proved positively that if we train these lower cadres, they are the ones who are saving. <laughs> Maternal death is down. The mother is a human being. I wouldn't like to die. Nobody would like to die. Secondly, in our African context, a mother is the backbone of everything. We usually lose mothers who have already given 10 births. So you can imagine when she dies, she leaves 10 people around with no care. So if you prevent the death of the mother, it means you are really doing a big thing, not only for the mother, but for the rest of the people who are dependent on her. 